Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 106 of Darwell20's Let's Play series. I decided to play around with the distressing of the walls a little bit more and made them larger blotches, and I feel like that looks better. I'll let you guys be the judge, but uh, I feel like it looks pretty good. Better? Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, today I want to get the roof finished and kind of make it, like, ideally finalize-ish this room. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, so all my stuff's running. We actually have a decent amount of biodiesel going on here. That stuff should last a while. Um, and that's going to pretty much power this whole, you know, area, which should be good. Um, so we can see our watermelons growing. We can see our fermenter fermenting, we can see our squeezer squeezing, and we can see this guy doing its job, which is pretty cool. Overall, things are going well. Um, the, the, the functional aspects of this build are pretty much done. I just want to kind of make it look nice and then we'll, we'll call it a day. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want my roof to look like. Um, I'm, I'm taking a look at these factory blocks, rusty scaffold transparent. Um, like that might be cool for kind of like a skylighting type of scenario. Um, and I'm thinking I might want the majority of the space to look like that, um, I think. Um, so let's get more of you. Cool, and we'll get, let's say that this can kind of be the main foundation of the roof. And I'm debating if I want like just the entire roof to be that scaffolding stuff, or if I want more to it than that. I haven't entirely decided yet. So that's totally, like we could just have Right, like bring it all up a, lot, a level uh, with you. I'm gonna need another one of you because you're getting low. So like if I did that and that, that and that, right? That could be the roof. And then we could just Skylight this thing. You're not supposed to be down there. Yeah, we're totally going to need more of that. We're going to need lots more. And we'll see how this looks and if I want to change it up. But like I said, for the most part, I'm just figuring out what I like and what I don't like. Now what I could do is something like this. We're going to need probably another stack of you. Right. Wow, these blocks just break so fast though, don't they? Does that look kind of cool? I think it does. Like, I kind of like the way that looks. Make sure we have enough of these blocks. Probably gonna need a few more. Let's say like a couple dozen more stacks. Luckily they're easy enough to make. Just a little bit of iron and stone, like no big deal.
and to home we go. Nice. So that might be good. The only other thing I might want to check out is how to light the place at night. Because obviously we don't want like mobs spawning in here, right? That would be bad times. Uh, the, the thing that prevents mob spawns near my base, not quite 100% reaches over here all the way. So we want to make sure that this area is lit. Cool. Yeah, see I like this building. This looks good, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. You guys tell me. I, I, I don't know. I assume it looks good. I think it looks good. But I defer to you guys, the experts. Rorax will tell me. She'll tweet at me and be like, Dire. Looks awful. And I'll be like, oh, sorry Rorax, I tried. Nah, she probably won't really say that. I'm just teasing. So, like, it definitely looks a little distressed, which is cool. Like, it's it, like it's a, it's a building in somewhat of decay, which I like. It's kind of the goal I was going for there. But everything's still running, right? Like, the, like the functionality of the machines is all there. Nice. All right. Um, let's see if there's any other automation that I want to do in this place. One little change I did do is I wanted this side to mirror this side, so I kind of just moved that connection a little bit. I think it looks good. Nice. So one of the things we might be able to give a shot to is the floodlight. That might be a cool way to power this place. So if we look, this room is dark at this moment, right? During daytime, it's fine. But at nighttime, it's going to be pitch black in here. So what if we tried out a floodlight? I want to see how these things work. Um, last time I played with them, if I'm being honest, uh, they were okay. Um, they weren't great. They weren't my favorite. But we'll try it. Maybe they're better now. We'll see. Uh, so glowstone... And what else do you need? Ah, one of these dudes. That should be good for now. Cool. Um, we're gonna want some view, and we're gonna want some of you and you. Uh, and we're gonna want our engineer's hammer, and we should be cool. So what if I just stuck this dude, like, over here? Ah, I see. That's kind of neat. Redstone signal inverted. Good. That's what I want. Um, now the question is, does the power have to go into the base of the thing? Because that would be frustrating-ish. I'm assuming that if I place that there. Okay, that's cool. So let's rotate it this way. I kind of want it arcing down a little bit. We give it an, an inverted redstone signal by shift right clicking the base and we give it power. That means it should run all the time. Yes. Not inverted. Inverted. You should be running. I would think. We've got power on the thing. I could try giving it a lever. I take off my mufflers for the time being, by the way. Hmm. What am I doing wrong, floodlight? Oh, wait, what, 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 hey. Just went off. Okay, cool. That's on, off, on, maybe? I don't know. Uh, they should create a cone of light up to 32 blocks long. I assume that's the power, is the base. But I could be 100% wrong. Uh, let's try putting it... So, like, just for testing, and this probably won't be where I want it to normally go. Where else would power go into this thing if not the base, right? Uh, 
That should be orange now, right? Yeah. That I would expect to work. But it totally doesn't seem to be. Unless there's somewhere else where the power has to connect into. Like, that would look silly, right? I don't think that's it. Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense to me. I would expect the power to be in the base, but I'm not sure. Um, so the other thing we might try is the Engineer's Lantern, which looks pretty cool by itself. It's about as much light as a redstone block, which ain't bad. But you can put it on things, like poles. Um, so there's... these guys wall mounts that might be cool and then there's posts so steel wall mount and steel post or aluminum wall mounts and aluminum posts that would work too so let's get a wall mount yeah there's wood steel and aluminum i mean i'll go with aluminum just because why not And aluminum posts, does that sound cool? Neat. So what if I like wall mounted you every so often? I want you to be, there you go, nice. See, that looks kind of cool. See, the light range is really not far, though, considering the size of this room. So short of doing something like this, and you can right-click the side of these posts to create a mounting location. But even that, like, that's going to look stupid, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So I don't think I want to do that. That's the problem with lighting a really big room. Like, this room looks awesome, but how do you light it in a way that looks nice? Wah, wah, wah. Like, I could painting machine the floor, right? Like, I could get one of these blocks, paint a glowstone block with the painting machine from Ender.io, but, eh. Oh, it's raining out. Neat. Let's take a nap. So, the other thing you can do that I've done once or twice before is make powered lights. Um, I kind of want to teach this system how to make this. So let's do that and get the inverted version. So powered lights need a redstone signal to run, but if you get the inverted version, then um, it needs a redstone signal to not run. So if you want it on all the time, you want the inverted powered light. Um, powered lights are cool. I even have some. I must have played with these at some point. Did I do that on camera? Must have been a while ago. I don't remember that at all. Um, powered lights are neat. Right, they will emit a signal over a decent space. Let's go stick it under here. So they do need power. And if I put it one here, it should light up the area. So see, that's what we're talking about in terms of lighting, which is actually pretty good lighting. Um, see the, the, the radius there? So let's compare that to what would look like with one of those lamps that we were taking a look at, right? Um, what was it called? Lantern? Yeah. Right? So right underneath the powered light is a source is, is an 11, but then it like kind of staggers out and you've got 10s and 11s all over the place, right? So if I remove this guy and we put this dude here, right underneath the light is an 8 and then everywhere else is a 7. And that is one block below the ceiling. If we actually place this on the ceiling, then we don't get enough light to prevent mob spawns anywhere. Directly below it is 7. Um, where a power light on the ceiling, provided he had power, we might be able to determine, you know. Now I think, and this is just because I want to demonstrate. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. So like real quick, you to you. This looks silly, obviously, and I'm not leaving it this way, but that... So we'll see what the light pattern looks like. So for a handful of powered lights in here, I can light up the entire room. Um, the annoyance is having to give them power. 
Um, you can make them wireless, but I'm gonna be honest, the wireless recipe is also a nuisance. But let's go do it because, well, I take damage suddenly when I teleport through walls a lot more often than I used to. Uh, we're gonna need to slice and splice. Um, and part of me wants to automate this. So let's slice and splice in the basement, huh? We're gonna need some soul. Larium. Uh, and we're probably gonna need a new set of shears. And we're gonna need a new ax. One more solarium. There it is. Poof. All right. Um, and then we're also going to need another axe and shears. And what I need to make for a wireless powered light is an ender resonator. So I do that, and we have the pattern. So let's get a crafting pattern crafter this dude you're gonna go down here you're gonna live right here we're gonna need conduits these things can go away by the way you and you let's get a capacitor to speed this up Missing four basic capacitors? Don't you know how to make those? How do you not know how to make basic capacitors? I figure that would be like one of the first things I taught you how to make. You know how to make regular pad capacitors. I'm thinking that must have gotten lost. Double layer capacitor I have in there twice. How would that have happened? That must have been some kind of weird bug that occurred when I, uh... Oh, nice. I'm a derp. <laughs> must have been some weird bug from the upgrade. I don't know how that would have been like that, but... Sweet. Everybody's cooking now. All right, so you're good. We're gonna put our pattern dude here. Make sure that he's facing that. Um, we're gonna want an importer. And we're gonna want some cables. Technically you're not needed. And then you. So then finally, the last thing we need to do is teach you how to make the wireless light. So I want the wireless inverted one, which is an inverted one plus an ender resonator. Wireless inverted equals that. So now if I say wireless inverted light times 10, has a lot of crafting to do, but it should come out properly. Let's go down here. You've got some work. Let's get our capacitor. Much faster. An importer is gonna work on this? Nice. It seems to have. Do what now? Why would you put in an incomplete set of items? So you need a vibrant alloy and a silicon? It's weird. Maybe because I was playing with the UI when the items went in there. That's the only thing I can think of. 
also Enderman heads. Oh, wait, I know why. I think I know why. This can't be or dictionaried. That's probably why. So let's remove the one that's or dictionaried and let's put in the one that does not use the or dictionary. It's still got the crafting thing in there from before, so that's your problem, probably. Are you done now? Maybe. Let's cancel all on this. Make sure you're not backed up. All right, good. Well, we got four of them, so let's put this stuff away for the time being. Let's ask for 10 more. Missing nether quartz. Really? It is making more, though, so that's cool. All right, let's get to work. Um, we're going to want a wireless charger. Uh, so we're going to want an octodic and an ender resonator and some electrical steel come back in a minute when i've got this all done all right so the wireless charger is what's going to wirelessly charge my wireless powered lights so let's go set this up actually i'm going to do it while it's dark out because that's cool um let's put this wireless charger where should it be in the floorboards i kind of feel like it should be So like maybe right in the center of the room. Now the question that I'm gonna have is will a wireless doohickey be enough power or will I need more than this? This may I might be using more than ADR if it takes for all these lights. So we're gonna find out, right? So I'll start putting lights around the base. And I wanna kind of put them up here if I can. So what does that do for the floorboarding? So that's not quite enough. It needs to be like here. Now what if I put it, that's okay. That actually remains okay. That does not. So minimum distance is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in between them, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in between them. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks in between them. Let's make sure that any of these that I break are not too derped. And then I'll just kind of center that, right? So if we want this to look good and cover the whole thing, then we want one, two, three blocks, one, two, three, four blocks. And then there's two blocks there, there's two blocks there. We could do this, one, two, three, go, one, two, three, go. And that looks pretty good, yeah? I like that. I like that a lot. So that seems to fill this out. Now in theory, I should be able to put a row. So this does one, two, three. It's stable at three. This one has alternating eights and sevens. So three blocks on either side of the row is good. So if I wanted, for example, a wireless powered light here, That's pretty close to being good. So what I'm probably gonna want is here. 
and here. Does that look like it works pretty reasonably? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, go. One, two, three, four. Would this work? Or is that not bright enough? That's not bright enough. One, two, three, from here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. What I could probably do is something like this. That would probably be sufficient. Right? So I'm going to need a handful more wireless blocks. And the other thing I need to find out is how's this thing doing? So he's doing fine. We're not using ADR for ticket yet. I don't know how much RF per tick those lights use, but I'm suspecting we'll find out eventually. So let's get like 10 more of these and we'll come back in a minute when that's done. All right guys, all set. Just kicked off another 10 wireless powered inverter light thingies. Um, but let's go out this way and see about lighting the place up, shall we? So now in theory, um, I should be able to just extend what I've already done out this way. So like here and here. And then here and here. Cool. And we did also here and there. Anybody else hear an explosion? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what is exploding? I'm not I'm not even kidding, I have no idea. Like this isn't like a joke. Like I have no idea what's exploding right now. Is it my IC2 generator stuff? It's the only thing I can think of. Are you guys exploding? Yes, you must be. What's up? Am I missing something here? Where'd my wiring go? Oh, you know what? Um, I know. I, I bet I know what happened. Well, first off, I'm not sure where my wiring is. <laughs> Side project. Are we out of fuel in here? No. We're close to being out of fuel, but we're not out of fuel. We're actually pretty full on hot coolant. Are we out of distilled water? That's the only other thing I can think of. We appear to be out of distilled water. I thought this was a closed loop, which meant I wouldn't lose distilled water. But it must not be. So I'm going to turn you off for a minute. Interesting. That should fix things. But then there's also the problem of where did my wiring go that was down here? So I'm going to turn you off. Sorry, I heard explosions and I had no idea what they were. Back to lighting up rooms, huh? Uh, so that's kind of the pattern that we were going for, right? Um, and then we can go... So we're technically using more lighting than we need to, really. Um, but I think this makes the patterning nice. Cool. 
Are you done with the next 10? Nope. All right, it might take a few minutes for the appropriate amount of wireless lights to be crafted. It's only just time that it takes to craft because like there's solarium involved and there's fiber and alloys involved. There's like lots of, you know, crafting that needs to happen. Um, we're probably, yeah, we're making a bunch of this right now. We'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna speed this up. All right, two more sets of 10. So all that's left really is a couple more rows here. So this, that, that, and then the last row here. So like I said, technically I'm using more powered lights than I need to use, um, but that's just to make them more evenly distributed. But that is lighting up the whole room. Powered lights are cool, right? Not gonna lie. So then we're gonna want three and then the light, right? And then three and then the light and then three and then the light. And that's, mm, I could be doing less, but it's all good. Powered lights are good. They're just expensive in terms of, not even in terms of resources. I mean, they're kind of expensive. If this was an early game, that would be a lot of resources. But I, I think it's one of the few blocks in the pack. And we're gonna need a few more. We're gonna need at least five more. Good, we're getting more quartz. Let's just ask for 10 more, and then we'll have them sitting in the area for when we need them. But like, we're technically gonna need, I think, only three more than we currently have. Um, I think it's the only block in the pack, really, that allows you to light up a larger area than a standard torch light source. Okay. Real quick, pop back to the base. Acceleration wand to this bad boy. See, there's a lot of things it has to make. It has to make a bunch of solarium, has to make a bunch of um, quartz glass. Has to make a bunch of vibrant alloy. So it's more time than resources for me at this point, but resource wise, they are kind of expensive too but they're also awesome. And this thing's usually pretty quick to operate. And that should be the last of my lights. Cool. So here, here and here. And that should be a well-lit room. That's actually, the lighting is pretty subtle, right? Like, they really don't stand out, which I like. That That's how I like my lights to look, uh, which is why, I think I've said this before, probably many times, that's why I've always built nine by nines, because the lighting, um, I guess you're being lit by the energy relay like crystal, I don't even know. But nine by nines can be lit internally with four torches on a wall. One, two, three, four, in an appropriate place. And you can see the center block here would be an eight, right? Nine, 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 nine. So that center block would be an eight, which is the lowest number it can be before mobs will spawn. So a nine by nine is the perfect placement of torches. That's why nine by nines were always my building structure type. Like that's where nine by nine started. Uh, Cause I don't like the look of torches all over the floor. I think that looks stupid. Um, and I know some people put like glowstone blocks in the floor. That works sometimes, but I think this just has more of an industrial and technical look to it, which I liked. So I call that a completed building. So I'm gonna wrap up the episode here and wrap up this building segment. I don't think there's much more to do for an industrial craft. I might kind of play with it a little bit more, like a couple of the toys and stuff it has, but for the most part, I think I've, covered all the multi-block structures, or most of them at least, that you would have. Um, like there's the lightning rod, which sounds kind of cool. We could generate power that way. Um, heavy machinery, so we did the blast furnace, we checked that out. Metal press, crusher, mixer, squeezer, fermenter, refinery, arc furnace, excavator. We didn't do excavators. Maybe we'll just take a look at what those look like. They're kind of neat. Um, 
wow, there's, there, it, that, that, that's a lot of stuff that goes into making that thing. But maybe we'll check that out next episode just so you guys can see what it's all about. But for now, Dial 20, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I really do. And uh, please give me feedback on the building. Like, how does it look? Does it look cool? Does it look nice? Like, do you like it? Pros, cons, feedback? I'm open to it. Did you enjoy two episodes of Dyer trying to make something look nice? Or do you prefer skipping that and going straight to the technical buildings? Right? Feel free to let me know that, too. Like, yes, I like watching you try and make that look nice on camera or mm, you're really not good at it so don't bother i'm open to any kind of feedback there guys so for now take it easy